Are you planning a science unit on electricity, light or sound? Well, look no further than these fantastic Twinkle resources. Hi there, it's James from Twinkle. Today we're looking at some of the electricity, light and sound resources available on the Twinkle website. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the history of electricity PowerPoint. If you're looking for a great way to teach your Key Stage 2 pupils all about the history of electricity, then we've got just what you need. Our engaging History of Electricity Key Stage 2 PowerPoint covers the history of electricity from the beliefs in ancient civilizations up to the present day. Read about the many key scientists such as Faraday, Edison and Swan, as well as some of the lesser known figures. Discover more about the fascinating research and inventions which led to the widespread use of electricity. The Light and Shadows Lesson Pack is a great resource that covers the national curriculum objectives. The pack contains a PowerPoint looking at how shadows are formed and how they can change depending on the positions of the light source and the object creating the shadow. The differentiated worksheets provide a recording sheet and prompts for an investigation into the size of shadows at different times of day, and a shadow puppet worksheet providing instructions of making and investigating shadow puppets. Twinkle also have a range of vocabulary and conversation cards, such as these sound vocab cards. This handy set of word cards cover the main vocab for this topic. Print and laminate them so your children can keep them near or keep them in the classroom as a prompt for independent writing tasks and general discussion. The Key Stage 2 Science Conversation Cards for Electricity pose different questions to encourage children to develop their own scientific ideas. These could be used as a fantastic way to start a lesson by discussing some of these questions with your class, either in groups or as a whole. As you can see, Twinkle have a wide selection of science resources ranging across the year groups. Whatever you need, there's sure to be a resource for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can use some of these resources in your science lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.